Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to do a quick video going over some of the patch notes for the 1.3.0 patch for Marvel's Avengers. This is the massive patch that everyone has been waiting for. Now I only want to go over a few specific things because like it says in this, there's over a thousand fixes. It's just a massive page long of fixes, performance increases, bug fixes, all that type of stuff. There also was some new content added to the game as well, but I'm going to go over that after I go over some of these notes that I want to go over. First, we do have some balancing changes reduce aggressiveness of turrets and enemy range attacks now i'm not certain if this means they're going to attack you less or if maybe it means you have to be closer to them for them to target you with these range attacks either way any reduction in the amount of range attacks being thrown from enemies is incredibly good you would just get hit by so many and there would always be tons and tons of range attacks flying everywhere and they would always do a lot of damage and always interrupt anything you're doing so any reduction that is is really good then adapter lasers attack is easier to avoid i'm not exactly certain with this because i think their lasers work a little bit differently i'm assuming it just has not as big of a beam because it did seem like that when i was playing it did seem like you can actually just dodge out of them much more easily it did seem like they didn't hit you as easily as it would before so i'm assuming they actually reduced the hitbox of them hitting you any way you look at it is really good the adaptoids some of the adaptoids at least were kind of ridiculous compared to every other enemy in the game like everything Everything else would be easy then you'd get to an adaptoid that would just destroy you assault adaptoid tuning includes less aggressive in multiples so if there's multiple around i'm assuming this is to try to help with them say the fire ones that cast their volley of fireballs i'm assuming it's to try to help with stuff like that multiple fire adaptoids would cast their volley of fireballs it would just set it up to where it was impossible for you to do anything and you would just die because everyone would give you a slight stun and then the next one would hit you before this last stun was up so you just end up dying that's aggressive when the fire shield is active that's very good that they're specifically tuning down the fire ones as well this is when they put that big fire shield on themselves then has the fire shielding below them i'm not certain if you can break the fire shield super quickly or if it's a small timer but either way when that was up you're pretty much going to do much to them and since they're shielded you can't actually stun them or anything it's nice that they're a little bit less aggressive when that is up when you can't actually see you see them triggers a smaller hit reaction when heroes are hit by the laser this also helps a lot by this i'm pretty sure they're meaning anytime you get hit by pretty much any attack it gives you that slight interrupt or small stun and it's lessened with the laser which is super nice the laser tech is easier to avoid in combat situations pretty much already went over that again very good that that is getting reduced fireball visuals were updated to make them easier to see in combat this does help a little bit because you couldn't really see what part would hit you directly because it would be a fireball and a ton of fire effects around it so you couldn't really tell what was hitting you because it was just like a lot of fire then some more condensed fire that would just hit you and you really wouldn't have that much of a chance to be able to dodge it so that's super good because the adaptoids were so much beyond any other enemy in the game like even the other elite enemies the dread bots they weren't even relatively close to as powerful as some of the adaptoids at just ccing you and doing insane amounts of damage so really glad that they're tuning some of this down now some of the other changes fix an issue with the fabrication machine where you would occasionally not be awarded an outfit or unit of a duplicate pattern this was also compounded with another thing that was also fixed in this patch that sometimes it just wouldn't show you you got one but you would get a skin or units and then sometimes you just wouldn't get a skin or units so you really couldn't tell unless you were looking at the units or knew all the skins you had on every character so it was pretty hard to tell and i'm glad that is fixed I doubt they're going to go back and somehow retroactively give you all the patterns that you did because I know if all of them were giving stuff I definitely know I've probably gotten over a dozen patterns that haven't given me anything now this one I want to go over because I did hear some people were having an issue with this I don't even think I would ever get to this point because I would just buy all the cosmetics to fix an issue with resources in players inventory including units would disappear if they reach a total of 32,000 we have capped all units and resources to 65,000 for storage and ensured they will not disappear after moving forward if you lost a large number of units due to this bug please contact customer support so if you lost a bunch of units go do that but it's nice that they increase the cap resources and you won't lose them after you're already capped i'm assuming this is just the ones you have won't disappear because when people are reaching the cap their resources or units would just be gone if you're at the cap you're not going to be able to gain it anymore so technically you are losing it if you don't spend some they did some changes with the exotic stuff which i still haven't gotten any exotic gear pieces besides just the major artifacts you get 
for the objectives. Exotic gear now have higher attribute points. Power level 130 plus exotic gear now always has better attributes than other rarities. Now this is incredibly important because a lot of people were getting exotics that were legitimately the exact same roles as legendaries including the attributes. The attributes are the actual stats on them and if you guys don't know you haven't started like getting deep into the builds of this game. The attributes are incredibly important and are more important than most of the perks on gear. There's only a few perks I would consider more important than the actual attributes. Just one changing one role of gear between say might which is melee damage or resilience which is armor would be a massive difference in the amount of damage you do and take. The attributes are incredibly important. Glad they're making exotics more unique in that way. Activity specific gear earned in elite or archives is now awarded at correct power and rarity. I'm assuming this is going to help with exotics because exotics were so incredibly rare to get from these and a lot of the time broken to get from it that you actually weren't able to get it. So I'm hoping that people are going to start getting more exotics from this that the rarity was probably broken in some cases and not giving you exotics like it should have been. Gear with hero specific perks cannot be a awarded at epic legendary and exotic rarities with the correct number of perks previously legendary gear items of this type had too many hero specific perks and epics were not awarded at all this is pretty much just changing how some perks work so epic items weren't really getting any hero specific stuff if you had one epic drop on one character it could be all the same perks as any other character and it would never be any of the you know hero specific ones that say if you're on thor it increases your odin charge damage or something like that you wouldn't get that in epics i'm glad they're adding that in a lot of the epics are pretty close to the same or as good as legendary items and they're much much cheaper to upgrade definitely if you're trying to upgrade another character to 150 and you just started gearing them i'd recommend getting them all good rolled epic gear if you can and then upgrading through that because upgrading four epic pieces is probably only going to be as much as like one or one and a half full upgrades of a legendary item because legendaries are just so expensive but that's pretty much all i want to go over with the actual pet notes there's some really good changes in here pretty much everything else in this is just bug fixes i play on pc there's a bunch of pc change of performance and stuff like that so if you want to go read this you can now i want to go over the content that was added and the mega hive was actually added and it does add a new objective with it which is to complete every level of the mega hive now on reddit i did see that after you complete the mega hive you should get a heroic mega hive i'm not certain if there's like an elite mega hive then a elite heroic heroic one like we have right now with the normal hives but these hives are single player only when you go in there with a character if that character you're playing is downed what would normally be in a down state where you could get rezzed you can't get rezzed that character is instantly extinguished and you have to choose a new one you keep going in the mega hive until it reaches a certain floor i don't think you can infinitely go at least in the normal mega hive you keep going till all your characters are exhausted or you complete it even if your character are exhausted say you only have iron man left all your other characters are exhausted you can still choose any other characters you want as your ai companions and they'll still come in normally even if they were extinguished from you being able to actually play them also another thing i noticed that if a character is downed when you get extinguished i'm pretty sure they get extinguished from you being able to play them as well even if they're your ai companions and you can still bring in those ai companions that were downed and extinguished with you so it's a little bit weird how it works i'm assuming they're probably going to do some tuning with that that's pretty much how i want to go over today so subscribe if you want to see more marvel's avengers videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this patch and thanks for watching